When we listen to music, we're actually hearing different frequencies and different levels of vibrations. Now, the important role of creating these different frequencies lie in the different types of loudspeakers that are being used. So let's talk about them. Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. This is gonna be part one of two, where we break down different types of loudspeakers and their roles when it comes to sound. Since the invention of speakers, audiophiles and sound engineers alike have been constantly trying to improve the quality of audio reproduction. Along the way, they came to realize that sounds or the frequencies needed to be separated to optimize the audio clarity. For example, the sounds of dogs barking is significantly different from the sounds of birds chirping. These two things will be very different in terms of frequencies. So now you can imagine one speaker trying to reproduce both the high pitched chirps and the low barking of the dogs. Not that it's impossible, it's just not gonna sound amazing. There's gonna be some audio distortion which isn't gonna sound great. And ironically enough, these two types of speakers are specifically named after this example. Like the tweeter, for example, is in charge of those high frequencies. These frequencies typically include anything from 2000 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz. This is generally considered to be the upper limit of human hearing. These loudspeakers are the smallest of all the different types of speakers out there and that's with good reason. Higher frequencies require faster vibrations, and the tweeter's smaller diaphragm is a key contributor to their ability to produce these high frequencies. Then you have the mid-range loudspeaker. This loudspeaker is typically in charge of anything from 250 to 2000 Hertz. This frequency range is commonly contains sounds that the human ear is most familiar with. Those include the human voice and musical instruments. With that being said, it's really important that a mid-range speaker has a good, if not great, audio production with the least amount of audio distortion to really hone in on its intended range. It's also worthwhile mentioning that most TVs will actually have mid-range speakers inside of them since most of the things we hear on our TVs are dialogue based. Those are just two different types of speakers that are commonly used in the world of audio. Now remember, this is a two-part video, so hit the subscribe and the bell to stay up to date with all of our new videos. And if you learned something new, give us a like. And until next time guys, take it easy. Now remember, this is a two-part video, so remember to hit the subscribe.